Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to create a new switch that we can use to connect virtual machines. We do this as a matter of practice so that we can separate our management and production traffic. As you can see, I've already connected into vCenter server through my Jumpbox VM. I'm going to start by going to my hosts and clusters view, expand out and select ESXi01, and I'm going to click on configure. And in networking, I can see my virtual switches, of which I have one right now. We can see this is the management network on that ESXi host, plus we have our three virtual machines that we've already created on that same switch, and they go through the same physical adapter, which is VMNIC0. We're going to add another standard switch. Click on Add Networking. This is going to be a virtual machine port group. Click Next. We're going to create a new switch so that we can use a new uplink. So I'll select that and click Next. We need a network adapter. Click on Plus, select VMNIC1, and OK, and Next. And we need to give this a name. I'm going to call this production. One thing to be careful with here is you need to make sure that the virtual switch has the same name on all of the different ESXi hosts. If you typo this or you just choose a different name, you will not be able to migrate virtual machines from one host to another automatically. You'll have to change the network settings. Click Next and Finish. And we'll see a new port group pop up. Here is vSwitch1. This one does not have any VMs on it. We're going to relocate these virtual machines over onto this switch. I'm going to change views. And here's CentOS 0, 1, and 2. If I pick CentOS 1, and I'm going to edit the hardware. So I'll expand out VM hardware. Click on Edit Settings. We can see this is now on VM Network. That's what we're going to change. Edit Settings. Click the drop down, browse, and we're going to pick production out of the list. OK and OK. That finishes changing configuration, and we can see that this is now on the production network. Now, for your lab, you're going to need to do the same thing with host ESXi2, meaning add a new virtual switch to that. And also, you're going to need to change CentOS 2 so that it is also on the production network. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.